Intro! Alright, so I'm going to play another Minecraft survival. But this time I'm going to record it. I played one of these, I think, f five, six months ago. I don't think much has changed in that time, honestly. But last time I did it, I took my time and was careful. So it took me, I think, a few days, really, to um, kill all the bosses and then get to the point where I was really bored because there was nothing left to do. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to record in 30 minute sections and I'm going to see how quickly I can accomplish every major goal. So that means all the main bosses is basically what that means. So that means Ender Dragon, that means the Underwater Guardians, and that means the Wither. Um, if there's anything else I've forgotten I'm sure I will mention it later. So general idea this is fairly simple. I'm on an island. There's wolves on it for some reason. I think it's just the seed I picked. There's nothing for miles around. I start with a few trees. And in this case wolves. And I'm sure there's sugar cane somewhere. If there isn't there's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, basic supplies basically. And the idea is I'm not to leave the island really. Unless I have no choice. I can extend it a little bit if I want to terraform a bit. But... I'm not going to bother doing that until I absolutely have to. There's the sugar cane. Um, general idea is this is hardcore difficulty. That means one life. If I die, that is it. The world gets deleted. Uh, no second chances. So it will be very embarrassing uh, if, more like when, I smack a wolf in the face and he murders me. So we're going to be trying to avoid to do that. Obviously that. I don't know why I'm gathering sand first. That's stupid. <laughs> getting distracted by my own speech. Okay, so obviously the first thing I'm going to do is start punching wood. So as I said, I'm going to record these in 30 minute sections. And uh, the idea is I want to complete all the major goals in as few episodes as possible. Ideally under 10. Uh, now, I probably won't, but I will still have 10 to do so. Now, as a result, that means that I'm going to skip doing some things that normally you would kind of want to do due to safety. Um, like, I might not do much in the way of enchanting, for example. If I find... Um, oh God, yeah, I've got a, I've got to uh, spawn cows as well. If I find the library under... Uh, in the stronghold, which I suspect is nearby, because I think it, that's one of these seeds. Yeah, a lot of these survival island seeds put the um, stronghold really close by because otherwise it partially defeats the purpose of not leaving the island, if you know what I mean, because it means that when you're ready to go, you'd have to go off for ages in a random direction, and uh, firing off Ice Vendor in the sea is a bit of a nightmare. Um, anyway, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, so, basic stuff first. That was stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> it's clear that I haven't played uh, Minecraft PC in a while, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not even making the right things first, I'm supposed to make an axe first. Uh, normally I compulsively make uh, four basic tools before anything else. The reason for that is that I'm very impatient and don't like waiting around for very long, so... Honestly, I actually expect to replace uh, things like the sword before they see much use. I probably won't end up breaking them. Um, but the axe I probably will use until I break it, so... I'm just going to get a decent amount of wood for the moment, just so I have options for tools, and then I'm going to go get stone immediately, because there's really no reason not to. Anyway, uh, what I was saying before, I think, was basically that um, if, if I get the stuff for enchanting, I will enchant, but if it looks like it's going to be a lot of effort to do so, I actually might skip doing that, and I might supplement uh, that with potions, ideally, um, uh, and just general carefulness, like bringing water buckets into the end, obviously. Uh, I might do the boring thing, <laughs> which is to have a lot of harrows and uh, a diamond pick to mine up through the middle of the obsidian shaft so that I can take out those um, bloody healing points without uh, getting murdered by the dragon, which is not something I want. Okay, so I'm going to make a mine, I think, here seems convenient. And I'm going to go get stone immediately because there's really no reason to stay with, st with um, wood tools for too long. I'm unlikely to find iron particularly quickly, but upgrading to stone as fast as possible is probably a good plan, so I'm going to do that. Um, I also should make a shelter up here, 
Um, but honestly, what I'm gonna do is, uh, if it's night time before I've acquired torches, I will just kind of close off the entrance to this mine up here and just continue to work down here until I have enough torches. And if I have enough torches before it turns night, I'll just more or less cover the island in torches so that nothing can spawn up there. And what I might do is I might make a spawning room, which may or may not kill me, but, um, will be for acquiring things like spider string and gunpowder, which I might need later. Actually, I don't think I will need gunpowder in this, will I? Well, there's coal immediately anyway, so that didn't take very long. Uh, the problem is I'm going to accumulate a lot of this bloody new stone that they've put in. Adesite, diorite, and... Uh, is the last one granite? Yeah. Because they're, they're only building materials, basically. They're actually of no use to me here whatsoever. <laughs> There's no reason for me to have it. Uh, I do need some flint. Oh, there we go. That's convenient. I actually might as well upgrade to stone already. There's probably no point in using split tools already. <laughs> um, now, what a lot of people like to do is when they upgrade a set of tools, they throw their old stuff away. But uh, I don't like doing that. I always feel like if I do that, uh, I'll end up needing them immediately. So instead, I will store everything I'm not using because I should be collecting enough wood on a regular basis to be able to do that anyway. And we'll just do the basic thing here and slap anything and everything I don't really need on me at any point in time into there. Um, is there any point in making glass yet? No, not yet. I don't think so. I'm going to be replanting saplings. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to put all these tools in here. I'm actually going to replace them already. Because <laughs> there's really no point in taking forever with stone tools. Uh, sorry, with wood tools. Stone tools aren't great either, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. So I'm going to make a couple of picks, because I suspect that's at least how long it's going to be before I find uh, any iron. And I will make basic stuff as well. I, I like to keep my inventory in a particular manner. It's only per personal preference. It doesn't really um, grant any real advantages other than me knowing where things are when I'm scrolling between them. All right. Um, so now I want iron. Um, I could get way more wood. Is there any point? Well, actually, I should collect some of these before they disappear. Ooh, apple. This is going to be important later. Uh, I particularly don't like eating apples early, but I will if I have to because... Um, oh, actually, I should really get seeds right now because hunger will become an issue super quickly only problem is um i'm super concerned that oh there we go <laughs> super concerned that i'm gonna break all this grass and not get any seeds because then i'd need bone meal but uh, i got at least one there's two um, these wolves actually might despawn before i use them to be honest and by use i mean if i get bones i can uh, tame them and they can be my buddies of course, what tends to happen when I uh, tame wolves is that they immediately walk into creepers. <laughs> and if you've never had that happen to you, wolves don't attack creepers because wolves only attack something you've attacked once or something that's attacked you once. So if you smack a creeper once, odds are you're close enough that it's about to detonate. So by the time a wolf gets up close to it, it's too late. Oh, actually, I should make a hoe real quick. And for them to attack you... Well, by the time they've done that, they're, they've already exploded, haven't they? So, Yeah, wolves not so good against creepers. Uh, I'm going to put my... I guess I could just put my uh, farm right there. Problem is I'm putting it on the sand instead of on the dirt, which means I have to wander over here to get it, but I suppose it doesn't matter that much. So I will do that real quick anyway. Alright, so... Oh, well that's a bit of a nuisance. It's actually not level. Might need the sand later anyway, so it probably doesn't matter too much. Anyway, I need to get a wheat farm going as fast as possible because food is one of the first issues uh, that will kill you very quickly. And it's not because you'll starve to death, and because like that is a danger, but by the time that comes up normally you'll have had plenty of time to rectify it. It's actually because when your hunger gets below a certain point, you don't regen. And, well, that sounds really obvious. Uh, I've seen so many people die to that because they they don't think to deal with it while they're out doing things and as a result that one lone creeper that explodes straight up kills them instead of just nearly killing them so I want to keep my health as full as possible as often as possible to try and avoid uh, that happening so I've only got three seeds for now which is 
not great, but it's somewhere to start. Oh, sun's going down already. Um, I might as well chop down a, a couple of trees then. Now, my issue obviously is that by the time I come up here, mobs will have spawned up here, and I'll have to kill them to get back out. Actually, I could make torches now, couldn't I? Hmm. Seven? That's not that many. It's a few. That's a start, that's 28. That actually might be enough to cover most of the island. Oh. <laughs> I keep crouching instead of a uh, instead of sprinting because I was playing Dishonored before this and those two buttons are reversed. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to try and cover as much of the island as possible with these real quick. Uh, I am sprinting a little bit and it is using up a bit of my hunger. But that's because I want to light up this area before a mob spawn. I don't mind one or two, but I don't want a large amount of mobs spawning up here because they will absolutely wreck me at this point. I have no armor. I have a stone sword. A skeleton in the right place could absolutely wreck me. It would be game over. So, I'm obviously not gonna... Look, there's a zombie already. He's out in the water, though. Did he spawn in the water or did he wander into the water? I think he spawned in the water. So I didn't know they could spawn in the water. I guess maybe if they're within a certain radius of... Uh, of the land. Maybe they can, because normally you don't find mobs out in the middle of the ocean, even if it's pitch black. Well, there's the end portal down there. I wonder if there's anything in there that's... no, it's just silverfish. I can do that for experience if I want to later, but silverfish don't grant that much experience, so it's probably not worth it. <laughs> okay, so I've lit up most of my island. Uh, so I shouldn't be murdered yet. He's looking at me already. That's annoying. Uh, I might swim out to deal with him, actually. Is there any point in doing that? No, I'm sure he'll be spawned by the time I come back. Uh, just in case I'm gonna... block up behind me. So nothing can, uh, blindside me. Alright, let's get some more coal. I'm gonna need iron pretty soon, honestly. Don't really need, um... all this flint. Because, honestly, I'm probably going to collect most of my arrows from killing skeletons. And if I can find a spawner, even better. But um, I'm going to collect it anyway. Just because if I'm short on them later, I can break it down for uh, flint. Obviously, that's not going to matter much if uh, I don't end up finding any damn chickens. But <laughs> there you go. I actually should extend the land as soon as possible. Uh, make a large grassy platform in the hopes that um, animals will spawn on it. I actually don't know if they do, though. I feel like I saw somewhere recently that uh, mobs only, sorry, friendly mobs only have one chance to spawn at the beginning. And if they do, that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Honestly, I can get away without using chickens, cows, or any of that. Technically, it's just a bit more difficult. To be fair, though, farming can be quite tedious, so I might be glad of not having to do that. Alright, so my hunger is getting low already. I don't want to have to use these apples though, so I'm going to avoid doing that. And uh, the only reason I feel comfortable doing that right now is because I'm not in any cavern or anything. Now I do suspect... Ooh, cavern sound already. I do suspect that there may be um, uh, the fortress below me. And if I mine into it, I'm not going to go explore right now because I have no iron, <laughs> no armor, and uh, no food other than these apples. I would have to use two right now to get back to full. And that's quite wasteful considering later if I get gold they will be considerably more valuable. I know that I'll probably end up with more apples than enough gold to make them, but uh, I still don't like using them early unless I have to, so I, I won't do that until I have to. Like, I will probably only end up using these apples if the alternative is starving. <laughs> I really should have replanted these trees before I went down. Alright, let's make a bunch of these. A uh, bit annoyed that I haven't come across any irony yet, but that's not that big a deal. I will probably find some eventually. It would obviously be quicker to mine down uh, one by one, but I actually want the cobblestone for now, because with a decent amount of cobblestone I won't have to worry about um, furnaces or whatever when I go back up. I won't have to come back down specifically for cobblestone, which I don't want to do. Um, so for now, I'm happy accumulating more than is strictly necessary. I'm not going to bother making any... Uh, complicated structures. Um, I might make a little wood hut just to put um, chests and stuff in, but I don't technically need to because with the island lit up properly, which I haven't fully done yet I think, 
um, nothing should spawn there anyway, so the island should still be just my safe zone. And it's not as if I need a roof if it rains on me. Okay. So about 15 minutes in now. It's not too bad. Still only on stone. I would like to be on iron by now. <laughs> Sounds a bit greedy, I know, but uh, honestly, I've gone down far enough that I should have passed an iron pocket by now. But I guess I'm just unlucky. So. I'm going to have way more cobblestone than I need at the end of this. But uh, I don't want to have to collect cobblestone at all at any point, so yeah. I don't mind doing that right now. You don't need cobble, cobble for very many things, actually. You need it for furnace, you need it for potions table. Uh, you, potion stand even. Uh, you need it for... I think those are the main things. I don't think there's really much else. I'm sure there are other things I'm just not thinking of, but uh, not that many things, honestly. Alright, more coal. Great. Fantastic. And what is that? Granite? No, and a site. This is the boring part, unfortunately, where I'm just steadily mining down towards the centre of the earth. <laughs> uh, at least I can collect a reasonable amount of, of um, sorry, coal from this. But until I get to uh, diamond level, there's really no point in straight mining for iron. So I, I would really much rather accidentally come across diamond first because I was mining at the correct level and not find iron for ages than just not find iron for ages. So I'm going to give myself that opportunity at least. I really am going to just take all of this coal, there's no reason for me to get this here. I actually kind of do wish um, I could come across some skellies safely, just for burn meal, but um, they would probably wreck my shit right now, so that's probably for the best that I don't find any. Alright, I think we're getting impatient at this point, let's, uh, whoops, didn't do that. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, actually, should check what level I'm at. Uh, oop, 39, or 38. So I want to be down between, I think, 12 and 14? I think. I haven't played in a while, I don't remember what diamond level is. <laughs> I think I'll stop at 13. Lucky number. More coal, yes, because I needed coal. At this rate, this pick is going to break and I'm going to have to replace it before I find any iron. <laughs> Which is very likely at this point. I'm finding fairly sizable coal pockets. I think this is the last pocket I'm going to collect at the moment. I think if I come across another pocket, I'm not going to bother collecting it. <laughs> Because I really need iron right now, and there's really no point in collecting this much coal without anything to smell. <laughs> the food that I'm, yeah, whoops, the food that I'm making, uh, it doesn't even need to be cooked because of bread. So yeah. Just a little bit more headroom. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to bother doing it down here either. <laughs> Didn't know why I did that. <laughs> Okay, how far down am I now? Whoops, screenshotted. <laughs> I only ever screenshot in this game by mistake. I never do it on purpose. Alright. Oh, I hear mobs. I could be above the fortress, actually. I did mention that was possibility. Oh, there goes the pick. Alright, I might as well um, make another pair at this rate. So I still Really? I only got that now? <laughs> I made one earlier. Alright, because I still not come across any iron. Might as well make two of these. <laughs> it's giving me all the achievements late again. Uh. Surely I can't be, you know, I'm going to keep this up until I'm at the right level. I surely can't be that far away. It's probably going to take me the, <laughs> the rest of the time I have left of the session just to find iron. <laughs> Which is fine, because I've got a reasonable amount of other things at the moment. I just don't have any decent food. That's a problem. Because I'm going to need to spend some time um, buffing that farm up. 
basically I'm going to replant until I've got as many down there as possible so that I'm uh, acquiring food fast and I'm using it basically as what I want. Because as soon as I get to that point I can collect a decent amount. Um, so that I won't have to be worrying about it all the time. And just literally just uh, update my stockpile anytime I come back to the service. Okay, so one more and I should be at 13, I think. Uh, down here. And iron! <laughs> Called it. Alright, so. At least enough for a pick, which is good news. Don't think there's anything else I need for right now. Um, I'm gonna use my stone picks until they break at least. I think what's going to happen is either I'm going to run out of um, uh, stone picks or I'll get to low hunger before I have to go back up. And I think one or the other will happen just as I have to end. Right, so there's another iron deposit. At this point I'm just stubbornly using the... Uh, stone picks until it breaks anyway, or until I come across something that a uh, stone can't break. Like gold, or a stone break diamond? Eh, it's not worth risking it, I don't remember anyway. I come across diamond, or pretty much anything that I think stone just won't collect for me. I don't want to stop making an iron pick real quick. Like that, which is what I'm going to do right now actually been fairly efficient. I think I can hear lava. Yep, I can hear lava. Might go looking for that in a minute. Alright, so let's make an iron pick first. Oh, <laughs> well that's dumb. I do have to smelt the iron first, which I'm going to do. Yeah, just stop that there. Put all the iron in it. And then I'll keep going. We'll come back. There's some redstone as well. Collect that as well if only for the XP. Um, I suppose the only other use we have for redstone is uh, potions. I don't think there's anything else I use redstone for. I think I'm getting close to that lava. Even before the lava kills me. Skellies. Yeah, I'm either next to a cavern or I'm... Ooh, cavern it is. I was going to say a fortress, but uh, I think this is the cavern. I actually don't really want to be here right now because my hunger is about half level and uh, don't actually have a bucket for water yet. But I'm going to spend time doing this right now because my iron is still smelting. Make myself a little safety barrier. For safety. Okay, I'm pretty sure the skeleton's in here. If he drops down and wrecks me, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> so as I said, I can only take a couple of hits. No armor. This is stupidly risky. I shouldn't be risking this. Whoop. I actually just really want to get up to this uh, water source. I don't have the iron for the bucket yet. Uh, hello. Is that a spawner? No way. I'm really asking for trouble now. I should really just seal off this area. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not lift this any further. Yeah, I know there's more behind here, but I'm not going to go through it because it's too risky. Okay, so the water source is up here. I'm going to lock it in so I can go get it later. Very tempted to use my apples. Yeah, yeah it's a spawner. That is... And it sounds like a skeleton spawner. That's actually incredibly convenient. And it now probably seems a lot like I planned that. And I really did not plan that. <laughs> that's actually really, really convenient. <laughs> There's some gold here as well. So that's a, a lot of very useful stuff very quickly. And I actually could make a portal immediately as well because there's so much lava here I actually don't even need the diamond pickaxe now. <laughs> so that is very quick. <laughs> I've got five minutes to go, so I'm going to deal with my iron, I think, first. I might have to eat these apples, which is a bit saddening, but uh, I, I don't want to die down here, so. Right, let's, let's make an iron pick first. 
And you know what? Let's make an iron sword as well because I don't want to die. I also might make an iron helmet because I think that's the best thing I can make with this. Yeah, let's do that. Just to slightly up my chances of not immediately dying. Damn, yeah, actually, let's put that over there. Okay, so let's collect this gold first. Okay. Whoops. Didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, did I not? No, I didn't. Hmm. I won't bother smelting the gold for the last second. I think I'll just collect this right stone real quick. Max and XP. What I'll be doing with redstone when I'm mining like this is I'll be uh, turning them into blocks just to make them more convenient to carry. Uh, there really is no reason for me not to put a barrier there because I don't want to fall into that. I just don't want that ever to have the possibility of happening. Uh, that's bad. It's a good thing I spotted that. Um, hmm. Let me get up and deal with that right now. Ooh, there, okay. I think I noticed that. Jesus. Uh, one of the number one ways of uh, dying in hardcore mode is things dropping on you from one by one holes above you that you didn't notice were there. I've actually seen it happen a few times. Uh, so I came back here without making a bucket. That was stupid. Um, I actually think I'm one short of iron to make a bucket now. But what I might do is incredibly suicidal. You know what? Let's just use the apples and let's just do this now. And let's just send off here. Because I can do this and I know I can do it. So there's really no reason to uh, freak out about it. Alright, so... Let's just make them come to me one at a time. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There's one more in there. Let's slap another one on that. Whoop! There's two more in there. Uh, another one again. That's actually quite a lot of skellies, I'm a bit worried now. Nah, I've got four of them, just reckon. So making that helmet was probably quite helpful. Okay, so a bit of redstone, doesn't terribly matter. Horse armor, never gonna use that. Saddle, never gonna use that. Name tag, I'm never gonna use that. All things that I would normally like to see in here, but no. Gunpowder, I'm sure, why not? I don't care about these. We'll pick a redstone. But... Name tags, wheat. I need the wheat. And a CD. Don't need that. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. I was really quite hoping that there would be iron in here. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't. However, just finding this spawner by itself is more than good enough. In fact, uh, that will speed me up significantly. The reason for that is quite simple. I can XP grind off them, but I can also collect bone meal which is obviously going to fix my food situation super quickly. And I can collect arrows, and I need as many arrows as physically possible for the Ender Dragon. Because honestly, sword doesn't really do justice when dealing with the Ender Dragon. So, that's very convenient. Um, did I completely cover that or did I forget? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so, I know this is down here now, uh, which is excellent. And this is down here, which is also excellent. Um, I will do a quick check and make sure I don't actually have enough iron for it. No, I don't. Alright, that's fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to end it up here then. Uh, I'm going to lock myself into a corner so I don't spawn in next to something. Next time I come back. Cowardly tactic, yes, but... I really don't want to die this early. So, that's... Episode 1 is what that's going to be. And, uh... Ending with iron is not that, that bad, actually. Yeah, hopefully next episode we'll have diamond. Bye.